Let's play some music, Dwayne. Chuck, you just went to the bathroom. Come back, come back. Come back, Chuck. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are y'all having a good time? All right. That's smart mouth, Ray Coca. I was very young when I played here with Lefty Frizzell. <clears throat> In fact, 
My mother had to change my diaper during the break. Yes, yes, boo. I played here a lot of times. During... Yeah, out here in the parking lot behind the building. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Well, three or four times, anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a wonderful thing we're going to save this old landmark. What do you think? Yeah. You bet. <clears throat> and I think all the people... Chuck, have you got a problem? Where was that tissue we had up here a while ago? Is that what you're looking for? You lost your glove. What did you do? Mavis, would you see if you could find Chuck's glove? His hand gets cold. I'd like to introduce the members of the band. You all know each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, guy. Hi, guy. How you doing, John? My far right over here, the sexy one of the group. Do something sexy. That's sexy. I can't. I'm on the spot. <laughs> Plays a mandolin for us. Does a real fine job, Mr. Phil Buss. And the cute little short feller with the fiddle and the bow does the finest. No, not you. You've already. Mr. Dwayne Knopp. Hey, Dwayne. This skinny, hairy legged hillbilly is standing right next to me here from down oh, south Missouri Way. Does a real nice job. Will you get back in your cage, huh? Mr. John Smith. And that is for real. That's his name. And over on my left. Over on my left. Oh, here it is. Oh, you've come back. Okay. Grand Junction's oldest and extinguished disc jockey, Mr. Chuck Wagon Chuck Nickled on the bass fiddle. The guy here with a two-ton mouth and a half-horsepower brain, that's Rags Ragsdale. <laughs> Thank you. I got to explain that, being the most extinguished disc jockey in town. That means I've been kicked out of more radio stations than anybody else. 